construct a circuit for the Boolean expression. So when you're doing problems like this, you want to start by looking at the outermost operation. In this case, the outermost operation is this OR operator. And we'll start by writing the OR gate on the far right. So here is our OR gate. This is OR. And now let's think about the inputs. So this OR gate is going to take two inputs. It's going to take P and it's going to take this input here. So I'm going to hold off on drawing the P. We can easily draw a line later connecting P to this OR gate. Let's focus on this piece here. This is going to come from an AND gate. So I'm going to go ahead and draw an AND gate here. And this AND gate has two inputs, not P and Q. So Q we can always draw later, but in order to get not P, we need a NOT gate. So I'm going to go ahead and put a NOT gate here. See, working right to left, so that's NOT. And now we can go ahead and finish everything up. We know the P is going to the OR gate, so I'll just do this, boom, all the way there. We also know that P is also going to uh, the NOT gate, because we need that for this piece here, and Q is going to the AND gate. And, you know, we should check our answer to make sure it's correct. You can do that by working backwards. Let's see. So P is going to the OR, so we'll deal with that at the end. So P goes to the NOT gate. That gives us NOT P. And now we have NOT P and also Q going to the AND gate. That gives us NOT P and Q. That's this piece here, right, because we have NOT P and Q entering this gate. So now we have P and OR this one here. So that's going to give us P or not P and Q. And that gives us the result, which we started with. So everything looks perfectly okay. I hope this video has been helpful.